If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to go over the Team of the Week Week 9 reveal in Madden 21, guys. Now, of course, they're not going to be on the game. That's why we always do this video on the screenshots. So, I'm going to go over the first two that were revealed last night, and then, of course, I'm going to go over the ones that are revealed during the stream. But guys, we do have the Series X loaded up, ready to go. If you guys haven't seen that already, I will be dropping a Series X Madden First Impressions at some point today. That was my second video, so stay tuned for that, guys. It's awesome. I love the console. Of course, nothing to record in there today. And of course, Madden doesn't come out officially for it until the 4th, which is like the next-gen version. You can still play the current-gen version on there. Now, I don't know once the next-gen comes out how things will work. Will it be cross-compatible? Will they still play together? Will it be an entirely different game like Madden 25 uh, did when the Xbox One first came out? Not sure. But nonetheless, guys, get into this, guys, to show you stuff. So now for today's Poodle Squad shout-out, if you guys want a chance to be shouted out, all you gotta do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, turn on that noti bell. Now, guys, for today's shout-out, we do have Hurlbert. Shout-out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support in each and every video. Greatly appreciate you. And guys, of course, subscribe. If you guys need coins to pick up these new Team of the Weeks, all you gotta do is head on down below to MuttReserve.com. Halloween discounts are still going on, and they need discounted more. Use code Poodle, 15% off, and enjoy. Now, that's it. So James Harrison, right outside linebacker for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, we all know he was supposed to get a card during Halloween. They screwed us, so they gave it to us now. 79 speed, 86 excel, 92 strength, 91 tackle, 92 play rec, 81 block, 91 power move, and 88 finesse move. Now, guys, I could not have been more right on what I said James Harrison would be. I literally told you guys he would have 79 speed. And it's, I feel like they always make him super slow. Now, of course, he is a pass rusher, so he's going to be similar to Chandler Jones in the sense that he can pass rush. His block is going to be better, though. So he's going to be like a better Chandler Jones. Now, the best thing for Harrison, guys, if you can get him to, like, honestly... You can get him to defensive tackle, which I don't think you can, but honestly, I, I could see it, right? He has the strength, he has the block shed, and he has the power move. I guess it all depends on size and, like, everything else. But he would probably be pretty good as a, power, as a defensive tackle if that was possible. Off the edge, though, I think you're better off going with, you know, we have Ricky Jackson, Lawrence Taylor. Um, we have the, oh, my God, I'm blanking right now, the guy for the uh, Chiefs, Derek Thomas. But there's better options. They're all faster. They're way more athletic. So don't, don't waste your time with James Harrison. Not a bad card. For Pittsburgh Steelers, team team is probably going to be pretty insane, but... Nonetheless, wouldn't recommend it. Now, for the next one, guys, we have center for the uh, Vikings. Now, Zerk did predict this, which he probably told you guys already. We were on FaceTime, and he said, I bet you the center for the Vikings, Matt Burke, who blocked for AP on his 296 yard day, gets it. He was right about that one, and I know he's gonna, he wanted me to verify that for people because no one believes him. So, yeah, he did get that one right now. I still think that Matt, I mean, Matt Burke's good, but for 92 overall, I think it could have been a little better. But 91 strength, 93 awareness, 92 pass block, 91 pass block power, 91 pass block finesse. 91 run block, 88 run block power, 91 run block finesse. Now, if you power him up and come him up with zone run, he will get the, zone, uh, the running thresholds and the passing thresholds. He's going to be a really good center. Great awareness, too, which I feel like awareness is the most important when it comes to a center because, of course, they had to pick up double teams, make a lot of movement around the field. But anyways, guys, that's it for those guys. Now, of course, we still have the other ones. We have the current week hero. We have the LTD pass current hero. We also have the um, lower set power upgrade, guys. So let's get into all that. Let's go check that out, guys. But that's about it for that. Really exciting. Before we get into the rest of the Team of the Week news, there we will be getting a free 95 Nat Kyler Murray, Larry Fitzgerald, Chandler Jones, or Patrick Peterson for the Cardinals MCC champion. Now, this will take a few weeks, of course. You guys know the deal with this. But you turn in seven divisional champion tokens and the finals champion tokens earning Nat 95 Kyler Murray, Fitz, Chandler, or Peterson. Now, guys, remember to be watching this one these days. Are They didn't give too much information on it, but they will be giving more, of course, as stuff gets closer. Now, it's going to take some time. They'll probably drop it when 95s are more available, so it's not going to be like some banger card. It'll be nice if we got it today, but of course we're not. But it's a pretty cool card right there. You guys can see that. I'm super excited for this, guys. It's going to be a super fun addition. There's going to be something fun to look forward to. Obviously, you're looking at Pat Peter Kyler right now. Personally, I think Kyler, uh, I think Murray, oh, I'm sorry, Peterson will be the better one because when we have 95s, there'll be quarterbacks like Murray, but Peterson's going to be one of those depth position quarterbacks that are free, so I think he might be the better one. But guys, Kyler Murray will be insane. A 95 Kyler Murray probably gets like a 95 speed or 94 speed. The card's going to be crazy. Overall looks great. Now here you see Madden Club Championship. You got to play the solos. Tune into the Madden Club Championship. Watch some of the biggest players in Madden play for $175,000. Play challenges weekly to earn a 95 overall Cardinal Champion. Now remember guys, to do this, you have to tune into the seven, uh, turn in the seven, and finals you have to watch it. I'm pretty sure you have to play challenges as well. I don't know if you have to watch to unlock them. Of course, we'll see more information. Uh, challenges do expire, believe, so make sure you're checking that. Guys, okay, so for the first power-up expansion team of the week play, we got Devontae Adams, guys. Now, Devontae Adams gets another plus one. I think he's up to like a 92 slash 93 now. Guys, he's been getting a ton of upgrades. I mean, he's having a great year. Despite the injuries, he's came back, you know, he's firing all cylinders right now. One of the best wide receivers in the league. Probably, in terms of like fantasy, if you want to look at it that way, probably the number one, number two. But he's crazy. Uh, overall, guys, he's getting a plus one. So you guys don't have to do the math on all those. 
Um, got AJ Klein next, by the way, guys. I did miss Jerron Reed. I don't have a screenshot, but he's an 81 defensive tackle. Bum for Madden. Don't worry about him. AJ Klein, outside linebacker for the Bills. Nothing too great there. Low block shed. Decent play rack. Decent tackle. Low speed. Then we got Tua Tagovailoa. Um, 84 speed, 87 throw power, 83 short, 79 medium, 79 deep, 79 throw under pressure, 80 run of the run, 80 flash. Let me know how he has an 85 overall with almost all below 80 stats or 80 even. But um, at the end of the day, it's still nice to see a guy who just came back, or, you know, not came back, but he came back from injury. He uh, finally took the starting job from Fitzpatrick, and, you know, he's playing well. The first game, people were a little worried because he didn't do too much, but it was pretty obvious. If you watch the game you and you understand football, they had three defensive touchdowns, and it was a rookie's first time coming back from a groin injury and not playing ever in the NFL. So they were going to work him in slowly. They want to keep it running, running heavy, let him throw the pass he knew he could make. It was a confidence game. After that, he came, after a big win, they came back out, and he looked pretty good. So it's nice to see a rookie getting team of the week in their first real start, right? Like, this was his first unleashed start, if you want to say. Next, we got Jabril Peppers, 89 strong safety for the New York Giants. 90 speed, 92 excel, 84 tackle, 87 play rec, 82 pursuit, 82 man, 86 zone, 92 hit power. Not so happy about Jabril these days because he just won us a game and I wanted to get the first overall pick. So thank you for that pick at the end. Um, but overall, guys, it's a great budget card. If you get lockdown max on him, you can get him to 90 speed. I mean, sorry, 90 zone, 90 speed, and 92 hit power. So he's going to be one of the best budget safeties in the game, hands down. Um, that's a great card. Then we got Jerry Judy, who is 89 overall. Now, that's actually a really good card in terms of overall-wise for Jerry Judy. But the card itself is okay. 91 speed, 84 jumping, 86 catching, 83 catch traffic, 85 spec. 87 short running, 85 medium, 86 deep. As per usual, how is he an 89 with only one stat above 89? And the rest all below 87s. Uh, but either way, guys, his route running is not good enough to really use. Maybe in a budget squad, he'd be decent. Maybe we'd, you know, put play fake on him, possibly. But again, not the greatest card, uh, to be quite honest. And now, guys, for our team of the week, week nine hero, Josh Allen, guys. Now, I told you guys in the video, prediction was more than likely going to be Josh Allen. I went with Kyler Murray because I thought it'd be more fun. It was more fun prediction. Didn't want to be like everyone else in that one, but... Was Josh Allen, 85 speed, 85 throw, uh, 95 throw power, 89 throw short, 88 throw medium, 86 throw deep, 86 throw under pressure, 92 throw on the run, 87 play action. Now, the issue with Josh Allen is going to be the throw medium. If that was an 89, he is a top quarterback in the game, but because of by one stat, he simply becomes a great quarterback, not the best quarterback. See, if he gets the plus one, right, here, you power him up and chem up and go deep, he has medium threshold, short threshold, he gets deep threshold, he gets... 86 speed and he gets 99 throw power now he's only going to get 99 throw power 90 short and now you have to decide would you rather deep or medium i personally i guess deep more important because those are the ones that are more prone to be inaccurate but i really care about medium accuracy but i guess if you go go deep you're still going to get all the thresholds still going to get 99 throw power but he's not going to get either medium or deep accuracy threshold it really depends on which one you choose overall though josh allen really 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 good it just sucks guys i hate he knows what they're doing too if he gets plus one more mid here he ends up being one of the most dominant quarterbacks in the game but overall, it looks really good. It kind of looks similar to like the Cole Pepper builds and the, um, you know, those, those like medium quarterbacks that can kind of do just about everything. Russell Wilson's, Cole Pepper, McNair. They made a few of those. Now they look really good. He's this, this guys this year with Madden the way it's done. That's more than enough speed to do some damage. At the end of the day, when you have Vic, he makes plays with qu quarterback draw being done. You know, you're gonna pick up 20 yards, 15, 10 yards. At the end of the day, if there's space to run, any quarterback can do it. It's just a matter of how fast you get there. Quite honestly, a guy like Josh Allen, I pick up the first, I go down. A guy like Vic, I try to juke and I fumble. Sometimes I, I, I think I find myself in trouble more than helping myself with guys like Vic. But either way, I don't think I'd replace Vic with Josh Allen. But McNair and a few of those other guys have some really promising stats. But that throw power is pretty crazy. 99 throw power is nice. But Vic's not too far behind that. So, you know, take that as you will. But Josh Allen's not bad. So we got Burke, James Harrison, Josh Allen. We have the lower set guys. Now let's head on over to the Team of the Week, Week 9 LTD from the past. Melvin Gordon. Now this sucks, right? Because I thought AP, if he had 296 yards and three touchdowns, very crazy, but 93 overall Melvin Gordon, 90 speed. That's where they ruined this card. How do you give a 93 overall and 90 speed? As a running back, right? I'd expect him to be used. 89 Excel, too slow. 89 Agility, too low. 93 Carrying is good, 68 Catching is low. 93 Change of Direction is good, 81 Truck is okay, 90 Break Tackle. Now again, you give us AP, AP is probably going to be faster, more powerful, and just better overall. Now Melvin Gordon, I guess, is okay. But again, you power him up and chem him up, right? You end up with 91 speed, 90 Excel. There's like six, seven backs that are more athletic than that. I, Bo Jackson was more athletic than this, and Bo Jackson came out like two months ago. It just kind of sucks, but either way, Melvin Gordon is a decent back. Of course, he's great in Chargers theme team, but who wouldn't be good on their own theme team for the most part? Um, personally, guys, out of all these drops today, I'd say Josh Allen is probably the best one, and Matt Burke. Melvin Gordon and James Harrison are more on the unusable side unless you have theme teams, right? Now, Josh Allen has use, especially on Bill's theme team. Josh Allen's going to be nasty, guys, like... 
filthy. But overall, Josh Allen and um, what's it called? Matt Burke and best ones. Matt Burke, I'm probably ranking as the second one. Josh Allen is number one. I'll put at third, James Harrison, then Melvin Gordon last. And in terms of the low ones, Devontae Adams with a plus one's great and all, but he's so slow that it really just, it's tough to justify using him ever uh, in terms of matting competitively. Again, Packers theme team, always great. I don't want to hear that comment. I know, but you know, not everyone has a theme team. It's actually very rare that people compete competitively with theme teams. But overall, guys, this, this is that. This is week nine. It was a decent drop. We've had better weeks. Of course, guys, but we did get next gen today, so we can't be we can't be a Debbie Downer today. We gotta be excited. We got the next gen. You probably can't see it, but it's right here. Super excited for, to play next gen, guys. Now, next gen Madden does not come out until December fourth, so again, you can play current gen uh, Madden on next gen. Now, I have this fear that next gen Madden won't be cross compatible to the old one, if because if they're gonna make it oh, great. Okay, let me let me backtrack here. I'm being optimistic, right? See, the thing is, if they make next gen Madden like a new game, like new animations, better trucking, new catching, better graphics, everything. It won't be cross compatible because you can't obviously have one person playing on old animations, one on new. Now, if they make it the same game, which again, more EA, more of EA is alley on how lazy they are. If they do go that route, then in that terms, in terms of that, it's going to be more likely that it can be cross compatible. But as of now, we got 2K today, guys. So definitely, if you guys have the Xbox One X, enjoy Madden, but try out some 2K, try out some Cold War as soon as you can. I'm downloading everything right now. I want to try out all the features, but so far, Madden's fast though, guys. I'll give it to that. But I, ha I have a whole video dropping today. Make sure to check it out. Uh, to get your noti bells on for that, I will be dropping my uh, Xbox Series X first impressions, showing you guys loading times, comparing some speeds. But yeah, guys, that's about it for that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want a chance to shout out on the Poodle Squad, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn on the noti bell. If you guys need coins, pick up any of the Team of the Week players or anything in Madden, head over to Mutt Reserve. There's more discounted coins on top of the Halloween sales. 15% off. Take advantage. Use code Poodle 15% off. So, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.